much needed victory in Austin, Texas. And there's Charlie Strong, as we mentioned earlier, in year two. Already highly successful at Louisville. Longtime assistant defensive coordinator who did such a masterful job in the Sunshine State of Florida. Trying to get it done in the Lone Star State. And Jaquim Grant will be unable to bring this one out. Well, you talk about conflict. They can deliver that to any defense. <laughs> Indeed. First and ten from the 25. And this all in total offensive yardage game. And there's Grant. They'll use him a lot on jet sweeps. Except opportunity here. There it is. Still off the curl. It goes to Lauderdale. And they get out of this catch technique and play press. In the great Washington. He should get north of 1,300. Drill coming down the line of scrimmage to make that play. Second and seven now. And that's a beautiful slam. Be kicking it on all cylinders here on their opening possession. Look at those levers. There's Davis, Reginald Davis. This is about forcing you to defend the empty backfield. Five wides. The Holmes runs it and goes right into a script there. Only one on the Here's the pressure. Yeah, there comes Mahomes. He's tough when he ad libs, but this pass. Is overthrown block number 11, the second of three wide receivers at the bottom of your screen. Tim, there's a wide open opportunity here. Mahomes looking for him, overshoots it, intercepted. It's Dylan Haynes. Haynes steps out of bounds near the 25 at the 24. Fourth down play. I, look, I think he was trying to get it to Grant Sadler. and overshot him. Yeah, I think it was Sadler that was in the area. And then, again, the single safety look, that's just like stealing, man. That was a bad, ill-advised pass, first of all. His man was covered in pants. He said, that's what we're looking for, turnovers. In our meeting, Tim, he talked about that's one of the things they need to do to give their offense a chance because you know that they're going to try to run the ball and burn that clock. Well, you're going to get the ball on downs anyway, but the momentum and the, you know, the impact of a pick like that, that's something that Bedford's defense can build up. Yeah, because you know Texas Tech is looking for points off possessions. That's one of the benchmarks that determines if they're successful. They've been denied an opportunity for points off their initial possession. From the 24 on first down. Now Texas is running with a couple of young backs to him than he has on the road. Second and eight. That's how he beats you with his legs. They're hoping. It shows a mark of immaturity, though, that he only performs well or tends to at home. Warren banged up behind the line. And nine, Warren is the setback. They'll dump it to him, and the safety valve is tackled in the open field. Dude, they're empty the backfield, baby. They're coming vertical. Plenty of time. That pass is caught up around the 45 by Marcus. Clear pass scenario. Not afraid to toss it. Nice. Around the pitch back the other way to John Burt. Very athletic freshman. But Texas Tech was ready to go earlier this week on his pinky. And he was not dressed as if he was going to go. We see a flag prior to the snap. Gray did come out. The false start by number 74 of the offense. It's a five-yard penalty, and it's still second down. He did Texas Longhorns, and ultimately those two replacements, two freshmen, 212 yards between. Second and 17. That pass is caught. It's Burt. It's a first down. Great job of moving Hurd out of the pocket, giving him some ability to see Holding the edge. By number 75 of the offense. It's a 10-yard penalty and replay second down. So he'd have a clear view was more indicative of how much success I think they think they can have. Second and 27. That pass is overthrown. So they don't need to keep the pass. Warren back in at the setback position. Out of the gun, third and 27. Going to delay to him. Well, you get a little better field position. He's averaging 41.3 per boot. We'll put it away. Angling towards the sidelines. Nice punt. Good day. Uh, the son of the missionary, you know all too well. DeAndre Washington takes it ahead. It's a loss of a yard, second and 11. There you go with a quick out. That goes to Pitt. Bruce Feldman noticed that in the opening series. Let's see what Mahomes does here. Checks down for Washington incomplete.
Low, but end over end. Taken off the bounce and returnable for Jackson. Nice. He has a scene. Big time. All the way to the 32. An illegal block in the back against the receiving team number 30. 30. 30. The team you have in its first half. Is in at quarterback. Gerard Hurd is in the game, and he takes the reverse, coming back the other way. So the 18 wheeler gets in, and there is a late hit, and there comes the flag at the 46 by Ni Nigel Bethel. Yeah, Nigel Bethel came down hard, and again, he was trying to maintain the edge, and he did a decent job of stringing the play out, but a little bit too aggressive there on the finish. The officials trying to dress him up to get that midriff there at cover, too. Back to the play. A late hit out of bounds by number one of the defense. It's a 15-yard penalty, and it's first down. In, in this kind of environment where you can play it in a phone booth, look out. I mean, it could be advantage Texas in their swoops at run. Well, you remember what Jay Norvell, the play caller, told us yesterday. He says if he were a wagering man, number 18 would get the ball a lot today. Now, he doesn't possess. From the 38 of Texas Tech. Heard. Oh, that one should have been caught. Oh, catch it. Right in the number. Michael Dixon comes in to punt it away. They'll try to get this pooch to land and move forward. It lands like a pitching wedge. And it will come down at the 14-yard line. Just a 20. Make an outstanding tackle in space. Tremendous job by J.J. Gaines. That's the definition of men in the box right there. The Andre Ross that Bruce Feldman talked about in our open. In to make that play. A little pitch back. Going with a little flea flicker to Sadler, and he's wide open. Mahomes in traffic. That's Ridgeway. Hassan Ridgeway, the first to get there. It was not going to burn him, but they made sure, and then they left the underneath pattern wide open. Uh, pretty obvious that Kingsbury and his offensive cohort, Eric Morris, up top. I figured out that number 11 was being overplayed. That pass is caught and is checked into the game as the setback out of the gun for Mahomes. That pass is batted down. Yes. It really is, Tim. That last play was an indication of, the, of engagement level of those defenders because that time you got to be thinking about what you're doing to make that play. That was a low punt. It's returnable for Jackson. And he gets it out to the 18-yard line, a 38-yard boot and point. But I think the committee is really looking at it from week to week with a blank sheet every week. There's Hurd looking for the boundary. And he gets out of bounds at the 20. We'll have Kansas State and Kansas on Saturday. Hurd looking and finding John Burke. Because of the wet weather. You remember that old song, Slippery I When do. It's Wet? Yeah. I do. Dixon to put it away at his 10-yard line. <laughs> yes, I do. Cameron Batson back deep. Let's it go. After the fair catch, and now takes a, a bounce for Texas Tech. Alex Elwes. Just hasn't had the dynamic plays on the grandest stages yet. There's a quick out to Lauderdale. And Lauderdale has the first down. Out to the 43. We have a late fumble. I think we did. Texas may have it. Dylan Haynes is near it. And also Holton Hill, number five. He may have come away with a recovery. Holton Hill needed to do that because he was the one that missed the open field tackle in the first place, and he atoned. Didn't wait for the next play. He came immediately and got his head back in the fray. Well, Dylan Haynes, who had an interception earlier, made the stick on Lauderdale, and then the ball popped free late as he was spun to the field. That's a beautiful strip. Really well done by Jefferson. 46 Malik Jefferson with the strip. Big time play right there. That shows you that freshman strength. The on the field is under further review. I think that's a, I think that's an accurate call for a fumble right there. Well, that's the reason why Malik Jefferson was one of the. He was the best player, at, particularly at the linebacker position, when he came out last year, along with Anthony Wheeler. He is a playmaker extraordinaire, a hybrid type player. He can play physical. From San Jose, California, is in the backfield, out of the shotgun. It's Jackson. Welcome to the game, Kirk. <laughs> and seven nine for Texas. <laughs> Nothing doing for Kirk Johnson this time. Stop a yard or two behind the line. He's going to be active in there, particularly on short yardage scenarios. On second down, Johnson again. Nothing doing. Boy, how about the physical? Five wides. Trips to the bottom of your screen. Heard with the separation. 
And down he goes at the feet. These players, about seven different guys, double digits in receptions. They've got to step up to him. Rose is boot. Moving to the right. Just gets it through the upright. And the Longhorns lead by three in the rain on Thanksgiving night. Three nothing Texas. Well, King Grant might get a touch on a kick, but no, they'll angle it away. And it goes out of bounds. Soccer action. <laughs> Master of oh, failure few. Absolutely. Here's DeAndre Washington. I heard for no gain, he's going to be interesting to see with the wind circumstances. Change of quarter, how that affects Mahomes. That pass is air mail. Wow. Oh, and then it goes into the hands of Grant. Jakeem Grant. Hello, how do you do? Ricochet you. That's borderline immaculate reception. It's close enough to me. I mean, Let's it go is. ahead and say it is, Tim. Yeah. What a fabulous opportunity for Texas Tech, who have been held scoreless here. This is a team that averages 42.4 points a game. And again, this was a sure interception. Out of the hands, now he becomes a defender. And number 11, Jakeem Grant, is sitting there waiting for him. We said he was going to be a box of dynamite, but we didn't know it was going to come that way. Holton Hill had it, then got hit. <laughs> And then the ball, Jakeem Grant wound up with it. Wow. I'm looking for a few, a Frenchy Fuqua somewhere. <laughs> the old tip drill. Holton Hill thought he had a pick, and it turned into six the other way. And Jay Jackson will let that one go through the end zone. Ball's not in his hands, and it's what he's doing to put himself in a position to make plays. Warren in the backfield, and he takes it towards the short side. Really the similar back that uh, maybe Deontay For Dante Foreman would be. And Kirk Johnson, a little more like Jonathan Gray. At their standards. Kick over the offense. There's, there. There's another great defensive play. Standing around his 40. High, spiraling punt. Batson. Actually, that's a good lock to that Sooner team, doesn't he? He really does. The second half is just like watching two different games. Well, that was a very strange-looking play where the I understood what this head was. Second and ten. Here's Grant. Taking a little wide receiver screen. Coach wants to keep in his back pocket and reprise it he could. An illegal block in the back by number six of the offense. The ten-yard penalty and replay second down. 17 at least on average. Second and 20. Mahomes trying to get away from pressure. Dumps it underneath to Stockton. And he spun down at the 37. Against the empty backfield, here comes pressure. Loops it out. Dangerous pass. Looks more like a run and shoot concept with these smallest wide receivers, Jim. And we saw Gerard Hurd there on his way to the locker room, it appeared, being tended to. That's why that conversation was taking place. So he was getting some attention. Uh, some, uh, Attention along the sidelines clearly was hurt. There's Burt running a fly, and it's incomplete. Obviously for being the 18-wheeler in the red zone. Second and ten. Tags down and swoops. Takes a seat. Back at the 16-yard line. Probably going to be holding in that interior line and five wide looks trying to get swoops out of there. Holding by number 74 of the offense. The penalty... Penalty decline. It's third down. We're near being able to endure the loss of Jefferson on the defensive side of the ball and keep their offensive game plan intact. Third and ten for Swoops. He airmails this one long and just beyond the outstretched arms. Down and punt formation again for Michael Dixon. Fourth and twelve. Get away, get away is the shout. Coming from Batson. And it will uh, rest out of bounds. Waiting for a potential head injury with Gerard Hurd. And anytime you get that message, it usually means the game belongs to somebody else. Mahomes under pressure decides to tuck it. And he'll be knocked down. He's got nothing in terms of net yardage. Run option to him here. Let's see if they can spin. From the 44-yard line. Nice yeah, yeah, boy, right as you diagrammed it. That's what he can do. Bedford's, his team is beat up defensively. First and 10 from the 30 for Mahomes. 
Going for the fade to the corner. Reginald Davis was second and 10. Mahomes 10 of 17, 168. There's the pressure and another sack. Back in, in terms of getting them. This is a solid front seven. It's man coverage. You got a one run. And that pass thrown at the feet of Ian Savage. He has one between 40 and 49 this year. Boy, he feels really good about it. And he should. So the Red Raiders extend their lead with 8.25 remaining in the second quarter. It's a pretty good job by Cameron Batson, the holder, as he got that high snap from Brenner, 46, the long snapper, especially in these conditions. It's wet out there. It is. Uh, Tim, I think the story of this game so far from Texas Tech's standpoint is Cliff Kingsbury looks on as he's relied on an offense that had to become like a defense. That's to Jakeem Grant. The Jay Johnson is back deep in a steady rain. He'll take it from his three. And he, he just lost his footing. That's what it's been for the Texas Longhorns so far. All suitors had to read up on that. That's what he did. Yeah. Here's Warren ahead to the eight something. <laughs> Max a great mind, man. Second and eight. Looking long on a streak route down the sidelines. Marcus Johnson had it. Lost it. But I think we have come away with it. He did. Well, I thought Johnson had a beat on it, and then Bethel just ripped it away. Bethel considered that a 50-50 ball, Tim. That's just as yeah. much mine as it is yours. And he came down with it with intention. Outstanding defensive effort by Nigel Bethel. Second in the nation in the point score. You can see nice protection, so nothing there. It's just a 50-50 ball that Nigel is a little underthrown. That's part yeah. of it again. Yeah, I really thought Marcus Johnson had it at first, and then as they roll down, Bethel picked it up, had inside. That's just great technique, isn't it? It's great technique and great position and great fight and finish. Because yeah. again, Johnson did have that ball in his possession. Bethel just stole it away from him. That old saying about want to, right? Yes, sir. Gotta have it. On first and ten, DeAndre Washington. How about that stop nice. and go? How about that? We're in a phone booth, too. I mean, that's go with a power formation. Washington carries it. Right up the gap. Inside the foyer designed to go to him. And to have those kinds of numbers is pretty incredible. Play fake, Mahomes. He decides to take it. And up it becomes such a factor in large measure because they're forcing you to defend the width of the field too. And that pass is thrown underneath. Third down seven. Blitz up the middle. Wide open water now. Dropped it. Tech wouldn't have the touchdown that they had. But he could not reel that one in. The Jay Johnson back deep. Samantha goes with the end over end pooch variety punt. And it is handled. Bouncing off tackle after tackle. Look at the kick from Rockwell go. Look at him go. And go. All the way. Touchdown, Texas. Ninety-one yards. We do have a flag after the play. Unsportsmanlike conduct, taunting by number three of the offense. It's his first unsportsmanlike of the game. The penalty will be enforced on the kickoff. Armani Foreman celebrating a little too much, but guess what? That was worthy of some celebration. How about that? He broke. Three big-time tackles there. You know, David Gibbs uh, just watched him, and he's trying to get a beat on exactly what happened. But Charlie Strong knows the book on Texas Tech. The Red Raiders can put up points, but they cannot stop the run. The Texas coaches told us they know that's the case. So they, until that play, only had 43 yards rushing, Timmy, <laughs> until that explosive play. That's the difference. Now, they had a total of 58 total yards, Texas, prior to that 91-yard run. 
Rose on the scrimmage. Well, he's a five-star player for a reason. You can see the initial hit, the miss. He runs through three. That's three. Four try and miss. Two more is going to come from the other side. That's five, six, and technically seven. If you're counting less, one way to the dove after that was J.J. Gaines. He put him on a little for David Gibbs, and he hit him behind the line of scrimmage. And he took off. Here's the kick, and Grant's got a couple of them for touchdowns. He's on the loose again. Has it out to the 47-yard line. Standing, but when you lose a key player in defense and offense, Tim, that's a lot to overcome for Texas. And they go with the screen, but it's thrown behind Justin Stockton, incomplete. Stretch play on. Wow, what a stop and start by Washington. Lauderdale has to get off the field. And we got a flag coming down. That's going to be a substitution issue, I believe. Eric Morris on the sideline for Tech was trying to get his guys off the field. He was jumping up and down. Illegal substitution by the offense. They were 12 players in for the It's a five-yard penalty. It is still third down. Mahomes across the field. Incomplete for Sagler. The beauty of that... Taylor Samate will punt it away. DeJay Johnson back deep for Texas. Oh, he got that. close. Yes, he did. Johnson from the 15 stopped immediately. They're in now. First and 10 from the 16. Swoops in for the injured Gerard Hurd. They're taking a look at his uh, head in the locker room as Swoops gets away from trouble and navigates to about. A personal foul clipping by number 72 of the offense. Penalty is half the distance to the goal and replay first down. That's a rush happening in the interior line. It is still a chop block. After the penalty, they go inside the one. It is not quite to the Stanford and Notre Dame. Second and 15. Got him open. Yes, he does. That's Jackson. And a late flag. Pass interference by number 20 of the defense. Yeah. It's a 15 yard penalty and an automatic first down. Look at what constitutes offensive pass interference versus defensive pass interference. Pick up. Swoops. Decides to dump it underneath and does. To the fullback. Ball is on the ground. That's blue at the tight end. H back that had it. And lost it as he hit the ground. We'll see if. This is a big play. Big call. It is. Here. It's huge. The ruling on the field is a caught forward pass. The previous play is under further review. With D. Anderson taking a look at it. Well, you can see Warren, boy, step up in there, put his nose in there, make a play. All right, that's caught. That's a caught pass, and yeah. so is it a... And the ball's loose there. Yeah. Yeah. That looks like fumble to me. And uh, Texas Tech ball. Yeah, I think if you, you, you want to declare it's a caught pass for the purposes of saying it's a fumble because if it was incomplete and not caught well, it then, can't be a fumble well then robertson who knocked it away it's a fumble it's a fumble and it should be texas tech's football i think what the official was saying is one is going to begat the other or negate it if it's not a complete and uh, these guys After do a good job review, the pass was caught and fumbled and recovered by the defense the foul for an ineligible receiver is declined it's first down Rockwell, Texas, Chris Warren to tie this game at 10. Let's see if their defense can stick him here. DeAndre Washington sets sail. He's got a slot up at the top of your screen. Washington slips on the cut. May have gotten it. He's in a bind if he has to cover number 11. That's to King Grant. Mahomes looking. He decides to run it. Inside the five, down to the one that a minute ago. Washington stopped at the one. Good to all of his guys. He knows how beautiful that guy in the middle is. Second and goal, Mahomes. Touchdown. Yeah, he's enjoying it too. <laughs> Beware of muscle flexors. That could get you a little yellow hanky. It really could. <laughs> and he did it right in front of the official, too. Love the design of the play off of a speed sweep action. You get guys kind of focusing and think. Look at that guy running the opposite direction. Mahomes pulls it down. <laughs> Pretty good hit by uh, DeAndre Washington. He can run. He can block. He can do it all. Ran right into Duke Thomas. Oh, extra point. Jim awaiting the kick. 
It's been a steady rain since midway through the first quarter. Johnson from the goal line. Hammering back at the 15-yard line, so I've got memories of Byron Hansford and the old Red Raider, the, the Red Raider that was their Ricky Williams back in the day. Mighty might. It's Chris Warren takes that little bit. Aggressive Texas is here with all three timeouts remaining and swoops in at quarterback. He's got to keep going in the middle. It's overthrown and nearly picked off. Down a yard to go. Warren is the setback. He gets it, flags down, and he's close to a first down. Pete Robertson made the stop, but as I said, we have a flag down on the field. Thrown in an area where we could see holding or some reasonable facts. Yeah, the personal own. foul, a chop block by number 75 and 74 of the offense. The penalty is half the distance to the goal and replay third down. So Texas won, and for the most part, they, they're, they're within that because this is a team that averages over 42 points a game to me. They've kept them in check. One of those touchdowns is a defensive effort, essentially. Yeah, Dixon got all of that. And it will be down at the 27-yard line, a 49-yard bail when they come here to Dale K. Royal Stadium. That's what you can recruit with. All right, Washington will take it. He was trying to get out of bounds. Yeah. Well, it's going to be the option on the read. Mahomes to say empty with three wides to the bottom of your screen, and that's Cameron Batson in motion. Wide receiver screen to Lauderdale. And he is dumped at the end of it. Second and five, Mahomes. Well, he's going to take himself out of bounds a yard over the top to the field. It's going to be tough. There it is over the middle and caught. That's a... Uh, First down. What they do, so it's tough to get a rhythm as a play caller. All right, three up at the top, and Mahomes is going to look to get it all the way down there. Oh, it's a beautiful. The ball is going to be a little fumble because uh, Shiro Davis not in half. Remember, Texas deferred, so they get the ball to open the, the half, and DeJay Johnson will take it from his one. Almost popped it. Not let them know that you will go over the top if you start crowding the box. First and ten, play fake. Here it comes. Plenty of time. On the curl, it's burnt. He comes back to the ball to the friend. Is back in the game for Kirk. And he'll take it on the stretch play. Cuts it back up. Has a first down. Outstanding. Up the middle, Warren again. This time stopped at the line of scrimmage. They were ready for him this time for Hoko. Among up here, obviously, Earl Campbell and Tyler Rose. Fantastic runners. Take Texas. even back further to Jim Bertelson back in the day. <laughs> Swoops lets it fly. Incomplete. Intended. Going to be a force for these guys for years. Yeah, no doubt. Third down nine. Swoops has a lot of green in front of him. And he owns. Yeah, they're hauling some precarious <laughs> stuff from time to time, too. <laughs> On first down. Nice blitz. Here it comes from the middle. And it's Devontae Hinton. It's Arkansas. Gaming and scheming for this game, they felt would be very similar to that knockout back which win they got against the Hogs. Second and 21. Swoops decides to add in. And drags a few in 16. We haven't called DeJay Johnson's name in the passing game of late. Swoops again, looking in the direction of John Burks to be a playmaker. Michael Dixon to boot it away. Cameron Batson back deep. End over end punt and the fair catch called for at the eight yard line. So the Longhorns. That snap and clear mentality oh, serves yeah. him well. First and ten, DeAndre Washington. He's been the go to guy. And in the open field, hard to grab him. Hardage, he's a great player. Play fake. Corner blitz from the nickel backer. Monty couldn't get him, and Mahomes dumps it away outside the tackle box. They certainly haven't gotten Jakeem Grant at least, with the exception of that tip drill play. Mahomes. So it's third and two. They go with a bunch formation, loaded down in motion. Play fake. Little bootleg for Mahomes. Texas. Again, they go with the delay to Washington. 
they both combined for 270 plus yards and it was because of that ability to know that they can run that they have right there on the slant to Sadler and he is Red Raiders up by seven DeAndre Washington ahead to the 35. Marvelous season without question and I think is as underrated as any running back in the country. Underneath on the shallow cross, that's Brad Pearson. Holding by number 62 of the offense. It's a 10 yard penalty and replay second down. Second and 16. Little bubble screen to Grant. Nothing doing this time. Nice escape. Mahomes dials it up for Sandler. Inside the 15. At the Mahomes that made it possible again. Outstanding. That was a quick uh, wide receiver screen thrown at the feet of Jakeen Grant. Hill. DeAndre Washington out of the shotgun takes the handoff. He's inside. Washington again pounding it, and he is in there for a touchdown. Well, you're right, Spencer. They made quite an adjustment. That's as much of a ball control series as you'll ever see from a Kingsbury air, air raid offense. And that's adjustment and a credit, again, both Coach Morris and Kiff Kingsbury for doing a fine job of saying, look, we know what we want to be philosophically, but this is where the opportunity is. This is what coaching is. It's about adapting to the circumstances real time to get the results that you want. That field puts it right through the uprights. Of their passing attack, they're averaging 355 yards a game passing. They're at 232 now, so again, that part of their game still intact. <laughs> First and ten, Chris Warren is in the backfield. And uh, with the pressure, Swoops decides to just dump it. He keeps trying to push off. He really is limping, hobbled on the sideline. Left ankle injury, questionable, but he'll return. Wow. Warren put down at eight. Swoops on the shallow cross, complete to Burt, but nothing he athletically an answer, but no, no one's ready to commit that he's the total future. They've got to find a passing game short and long term here at Austin if they're going to be back. Stockton has joined DeAndre Washington in the backfield out of the shotgun. That is Stockton in motion. Here comes pressure off the edge. Boy, no. No, the, the screen was... Off the edge, more pressure again. This little curl is caught, but the drop! It was dropped and recovered by Texas! John Booty sticking his nose in there. That's the break they're looking for. John Brody stuck his nose in there and got that one out, Tim. And That's uh, Omenahu, number 90. Charles Omenahu, number 90, who comes away with the recovery. Yet another freshman on the field as it was ripped out once it was caught by Sadler. You can see him holding them up and waiting until the posse comes, and that's the hallmark of a team that's looking for turnovers. Bonnie knocked it out. Just as you mentioned, the nickelbacker. Smart play by him, really. A tremendous play. There is a big difference between teams that are good tackling teams and teams that are turnover teams. The two are incongruent. If you're good tackling teams, you tend not to turn people over. But that was a classic case of Bonnie done a tremendous job of holding them up for the posse. Well, they go with a wide receiver screen to Burt. And dotting the backfield for Swoops. And they'll take it. It's wide open. Inside the 10. job of Jay Novell taking advantage of the momentum shift and a red hot rookie running back. Second score of the night. This one perhaps the most important today, but who knows with the craziness that's gone on so far in this one. Rose for the extra point. The defensive side senses that, and they're trying to create offense themselves as John Bonney did in stripping that ball away. Rams have two returns for touchdowns this year. 
Gets it off to the 30-yard line. Four. He's not trying to make a sure tackle. He's going after the ball. That's a nice play. Stockton. On the screen. So that if they just hang on, this is going to be the Texas Longhorns of old real soon. Second and nine. Pressure off the edge. They go to Lauderdale. And he did a nice job of getting away from Duke Thomas. Devin Lauderdale. Quick strike capability. All the way down to the nine-yard line. Jason Hall ushered him out. Just like that. The air raid says, we'll see you and we'll raise you. <laughs> and but for Jason Hall, they would have raised him much more. But an outstanding individual effort on the offensive side. And clearly Jason Hall saving what would have been a sure touchdown had he not continued to stay in close chase. Duke Thomas had a chance, Spencer, in the open field, and he whiffed. 59 yards on the play. DeAndre Washington back in the game. First and goal. He's wrapped up at the line of scrimmage by Timothy Cole. Timothy did a nice job, but here's the play again, Timmy. Open field. It's about making plays. And again, Lauderdale does a fine job of changing direction. He's mindful of where everybody is running away from those orange shirts. Pitch to the wide side to Washington. Wrapped up behind the line. Shire. This is where Mahomes can be devastating. Not this time. A big time, Adam. That was Davis. Reginald Davis. Yep. And here's now Hatfield for the field goal try. But this is a huge victory for the Texas defense after that 59-yard connection to hold the Red Raiders to three and keep this game within reach at only 10 points. The 10-point game with 2.55 to play in, in the third quarter. They'll take it for the six. Uh-oh. Actually, that is DeJay's spot, isn't it? He loves it here. He loves it. Warren is in the game on first and 10 from the 40. Wide receiver screen to Burt. Nice stiff arm. Burt's down at the bottom of your screen again. And here goes Warren. That's another first down. Like this, typically in rundown scenarios, they're pulling. Play fake, bootleg action, and the pass is caught. That is Alex De La Torre. Devontae Hinton in trailing technique. Still a six-yard gain, so second and four. Nice. There goes Warren. There he is again. Touchdown. A Texas star has been made tonight. Look at the eyes and the focus, the ability to read the kick out block. Della Torre, who dropped it on the previous play, makes a great one, doesn't miss that one, and Warren pays it off for the third time tonight. The freshman. He says, we're not done yet. Oh, he is just lathered up. You can give it to him 15 more times. He's got those fresh legs, Spencer. Yeah, he does. I mean, it, heck, between the two freshmen, they get it back, and Warren burns him again. And Jaquim Grant will watch this one go through the end zone. Well, this is first and ten. Washington. Yeah, he's beyond the door, despite having so many frontline players out. Could be a narrative that, narrative they leverage later. DeAndre Washington in the flat. Look at him keep his balance and brace. But to this point, the one thing that Bedford wanted was to keep him from being a factor, and he has. That's Jonathan Giles. What's going on, but Duke held his own for a nice stop. Stockton. Well, that was a very patient run. Quarter. A three-point game on Thanksgiving night. Happy to have you with us. Play fake to him, and here goes Mahomes. First down. Position 83, and he'll lead the way for Washington, who cuts back to the 15, so a gain of only two. Not their frontline players. Three key ones are out of this lineup. Washington breaks free. Stop free into the end zone. Touchdown. Jason Hall is the last defender as Cliff Kingsbury looks on and delight 
Jason Hall was the last one there. You can see the nice move inside. Fins one off, and Hall misses. Washington pays it off. Outstanding job from Washington. Nation Hughes had a shot at him but missed. DeAndre Washington's just a great back. He really is. Hatfield for the extra point. Well, just as they survive, they determine the outcome. Well, you're absolutely right. And I think that Texas Tech, David, his defense really has shown great improvement. Oakfield, and he is really all that's left at that position with Johnson done for the night. And the stretch play cuts it up again. How do you do? Oh, he finishes. He's going over 200 yards. Blitz off the corner. Here goes Warren the other way. Wow. Bang! Zoom! Moore! Down to the 30. He's asking to come out. I don't know if he can. Pete Robertson made the stop. Well, he took Pete for an extra ride, too. Pete went on the ride for about an additional seven yards. He went low and bounced him. Defying physics on that play. Typically, the low man is supposed to win. But Warren went down and lifted him up. He patted with shoulder pads as if to say, can you give me a blow? And they <laughs> said, no, I don't think so. You're going to continue to carry it. And those steps. Texas Tech trying to get the right personnel in the game. So Bernard gets set back. As you see, the flare out to, to Jay Johnson. Stop being on the letter. Number eight is checked in at wide receiver. Up at the top of your screen, he's the second receiver up there. And there swoops. The 18 leader calls his own number. And he's down to the seat. Trying to move quickly. Look at him break tackles. Wow. A lot of green in front of him. A lot of green. And could it be Pater? They're going to say no. Just shy of the end zone at the one. Well, he did a nice job, the swoops, of getting out of trouble. And then Stretching that to the corner to the pylon to try to get in for the score. Outstanding effort by the quarterback. Ball was knocked loose. I think he wanted to reach out, but it was knocked loose at the one-yard line. Had he gotten the ball extended, Spencer, I think he would have gotten it to the pylon. Yeah, he's just got to be careful about leaving his feet down there again. Even though he's a big quarterback, man, not a lot good can happen when you leave your feet. They mark it at the two. Brian Leonard in motion there. 18. Well, Texas believes they can block anybody. So I would, you can't be shocked that they're going to do the same thing. Swoops. There it is. Touchdown. You can make a case that his forward progress was almost stopped. And then he just decided to make the 6'4", 250 fall in. <laughs> he just leaned over. He backed in there, and he just, and he's over, man. That's a no doubt great effort. Well, you know, they've got that package in there for him, but they didn't wait to do it because of necessity. Had to have him in the game because Herb's down, but tremendous job of swoops moving this ball club and keeping him in contention. Uh, David Gibbs is just in disbelief over there. <laughs> it's like we know what's coming. We're selling out for the run. And we can't stop a freshman who's now breaking Cedric Benson's freshman rushing record. Freshman rushing the football, and he's moving in on Jamal Charles even now. I mean, it's absurd what he's doing in this football game. He's fresh. I don't think that guy, he wants to be back on the field as quick as he possibly can. He's ready. DeAndre yeah, Washington stopped, but then he gets away. Look out. He does not want the freshman to take him from the 45 first down. Of option game. Yeah, towards the boundary. And the cut back to midfield for DeAndre. <laughs> Justin Stockton is stopped this time for a negative play behind the line of scrimmage. Mahomes under pressure looking for Grant. Pass is knocked down. Like Cottrell and Ridgeway. Even a, a little who had a fumble recovery earlier and uh, being asked to make plays, and they have. Here is Jay Johnson again. Look out. Look out. Senior night, he's trying to make the most of it. 200 Benson, he's passed him already. And here he goes again. And again. And again. He's at 244 and counting now. Play fake, swoops. Nice to get him. Looking long. 
Elton Burt picked it up with Charles, and it's going to get even greater as we go on here. But he just won't stop. <laughs> this is when a young man finds out and real. Back in for Texas Tech, this kid is having a tremendous day running the football. Swoops. Wow. Swoops. Anybody, but he's only 30 as Eric Morris, and his breath still probably smells like Similac, man. He's a young cat, so that, their exuberance is excused. And yet another injured Longhorn on that play. Or was there a timeout? There may have been a timeout. I'm not sure. Oh, they're gonna. Have, we're gonna have an official review. Well, that was a given, wasn't it? It took him a while to give the call, but you can see, remember, he wasn't down until he crossed the goal line. I think that's a good call. He was not down until right there, and the ball crosses the plane. I don't see any reason for that to be reversed. I will say this, though. I mean, look how many. You got three Longhorns there at the party trying to prevent him from getting in. There's no give up in this Texas Longhorn defense that's down three key men. With a young, fresh. An incredible catch by Jakeem Grant and Amendola. We're talking Wes Welker. Crab We're talking tree. Michael Crabtree. Yeah, absolutely. Who did in Texas when Texas was in a position to be number one a few years back. Game now, Spencer. Where Texas has got to be thinking about not just scoring. Here's one. Bouncing off tacklers. And adding to his tote board. Yeah, and they forced Texas Tech to play their game. It's amazing. And we've got a marker down pre-snap. Looks like a false start coming. The false start by number 66 of the offense. The five-yard penalty, and it's still second down. You think back of the time they were here, 27 and 22. <laughs> and then they're, uh, they're appealing to a freshman to get them to 28. Roderick Bernard has checked in for him, number 27. And Swoops carries it ahead. Stop. After the sweep concept would be very nice against this loop. Play fake. Swoops in some trouble, heaves it. And it's caught. About two yards. 
yards shy of the first down by Burt. We'll see where <laughs> An eligible player downfield, yeah. number 55 of the offense. It's a five-yard penalty and replay second down. Especially in this offense, but Warren can erase that with one tote. And here it is. They were ready for it this time. Pete Robertson, number 10. Low snap, handled by Swoops. He decides to tuck it and run. He gets ahead to the 41, so he makes up some. Play of the game right here. Run it. Swoops, going deep for Johnson. Well, that was an interesting decision. It was, it really was. Tevin Madison was there covering. Uh, you're going for the home run ball when you need seven to move the chains. With that much time remaining and where the ball is, curious decision there. It really was. You may have had a man match up, but again, I think the fact that you run the football, that's what they do, that's who they are. And I know the flip script has been flipped tonight, but I think he would stick with a run call on that, a play run off of a four wide concept and take your chances there as opposed to the deep ball. Well, Texas Tech can effectively get a first down and close this baby out. And they've got it at the 40 yard line. Oh, they go with a little chicanery to Grant. A three flicker, Bomaruski style, touchdown. Terminology hip pocket. Well, it just grew larger for Cliff Kingsbury there. And Jakeem Grant managed to get another touch from another location. And the irony is he got it on the ground, not via the pass, <laughs> as has typically been the way. Just pick it up and go. <laughs> that was like visions of Dean Steinkuhler. Right. Right. Take a look. Well, there's no Tom Rathman or any of those guys out there, but again, it's the same concept. <laughs> Just a smaller body picking it up and running the opposite direction. And, and really the right time to run it, too. I mean, we're on the opposition's 40, and he is just, <laughs> you talk about a play caller's delight. That's it right there. Well, they're 241 away from ending the seven year run of victorious performances here at Darrell King Royal Stadium. You and I were in New York watching the game well into the evening oh, yeah. when Crabtree made that catch. Well, people forget the historical significance of that loss for Texas because, in effect, what it did. Here's the kick. Texas now needs two scores. And here goes Newsom. But you call me Dajay Johnson. Dajay Johnson, look out! Inside the 40 at the 37, late flag comes down. But the personal foul grabbing the face mask by number 52 of the kicking team. It's a 15-yard penalty, and it's first down. All right, let's go back to the touchdown in real time, Spencer. Well, again, pace and tempo played a factor. Watch how quickly they get on the field, Tim, here, and gather to the near side. The huddle confuses. A little lackadaisical on the Texas players back here. Now figuring out what's happened. The safeties are down. Everyone starts to come this direction before they figure out what happens. Grant has the ball seated in his hand, and he's headed for the end zone for a score. Then the kick return here, Texas trying to answer back. Finds a nice little ant lane and, and hits the boundary. I think if he stays outside, Tim, he perhaps continues for another 15 yards or so. From the 24-yard line now, Texas Tech. Long runs need to score and score quickly. Sweeps, tucks it. Football at score. Warren remains the setback. He gets it, and he's in for the touchdown. Goodness gracious. Pretty basic. Regardless of the outcome, the eyes of Texas will be on this youngster after tonight's game, win or lose. If I told you 92 points were in the offing today, what would you say? Woo. <laughs>
He's at 276 now, so he passes Vince Young in 2005 for the sixth position. Now he's moving in all time on Benson and on Charles. This is the safety net right here. That's the guy that's got to make the play. Going for the high kick. It's loose. Yep. It's loose. Still on the ground. Texas Tech believes they got it at the 42-yard line. Lorenzo Joe is down there. A lot of Longhorns had an opportunity. But it appears Texas Tech has got it. And it's J.D. on high. Outstanding young receiver, part of the hands team that comes away with it, but not before it bounced off a few guys. Yeah, Lauderdale was a guy circled right before the play and said that's where the hop is going to come. And again, it was an excellent job of execution. The Longhorns just couldn't finish and recover the football, but tremendous job of executing the onside kick. Longhorns have two timeouts left. Two minutes remain. Six. Mahomes is going to keep it. And he has spun down at the 48-yard line. Jason Hall and another... Mahomes, he's got it. Got it. That should be ball game this season. With a young team, they could have really used it. This is going to be a huge win for Texas Tech, Timmy. There, that was the pass was intended for. He was hammered. The ball got loose after Tatum hitting it. But what that did, though, it reversed four decades of futility. <laughs> and that was their first playoff win. Yeah. like that, Texas Tech. This could be their inflection point, no question. And congratulations to Cliff Kingsbury. And his Texas Tech Raider program, trust me, a win against Texas no matter where their program is in today's college football matters a great deal to the folks down in Lubbock. Well, they deserve every bit of it, both sides. Well, our final, 48-45 Texas Tech. Don't go anywhere because Fox Sports Live is about to start.